Hello, 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 and welcome to Meet. Uh, a lot of great reveals today, so as the internet has tanked all of your attention spans down, uh, let's get through them all quickly. To start off with, we've got some great uh, Warhammer Day commemorative series miniatures this year. Starting off with the Rattling Chaps. Uh, I'll get onto it later, but there's a new Kill Team box coming out, and that's the Orcs vs Rattlings. So, to help them out, we've got a little Rattling Sniper Squad. Uh, and this is a sick model. I love the little case full of pies and turkeys, the bottle, all the sausages. Perfect for Oktoberfest. And this is overall just a great model. It reminds me of the Vindicator Assassin model with the sniper behind all the rubble and stuff. But yeah, great model. Very cool. Gonna take a pretty penny out of my pocket. The other also awesome commemorative series model is this guy, this Dark Witch chap. Uh, for old world, not old world. What is it? It's not 40k. I think it's Sigma. I don't know. It's probably Sigma. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this awesome model. It's got this amazing helmet with the skull on top, and I love the book with the fire coming out. That would be a blast to paint. And overall, just a very cool model. Yeah, big thumbs up. Now, as we're all aware, it's currently early October. Halloween is coming up, so you know what that means. Christmas Battle Forces. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of these revealed. First one being the Adeptus Sororitis. Uh, it looks pretty alright. It's got that church guy that came out, priest chap, came out a while ago. Two land raider thingies. Two of the big torture traps. They look awesome. I'd love some of them. Lots of the whippy slave people. And some of the chainsaw slave people. And one sister lady. Also, for the Necrons, there's going to be... 10 Necron chaps? 10? Yeah, 10 Necron chaps. They obviously come with a couple of Scarab Swarms. And then a couple of the different guard units, the sort of Scythe guard units and the Glaive guard, I don't know. Lots of different guard units. Along with one, this is an awesome guy, I love him. This Necron character with all the pixels floating around him. And a Void Worm. Void Worm? That's a different thing, isn't it? Void Star? Void Khan Shard? I don't know. Um, but this is a good way to talk about one complaint I have about these Christmas boxes, which is a lot of them have characters, which is not the best, as it means you can't really buy it twice. If you were a Necron player or wanted to get into the Necron runs, sorry, uh, you'd probably want to buy you know a couple of these big boxes, because I don't know if they've revealed the prices yet, but if you want to start an army, this would probably be a deal for a box. And... You know, you'd want to buy multiple if it's a deal, but having characters in it means it's not the, you know, it's not the best idea to get multiple, which is a shame. Uh, this one here, the Tau one, this is much better. You get one massive guy, one medium guy, two big guys, and a ton of droids. This, you can buy multiple of this. This is probably, I don't know how much these are going to cost, like £120 maybe? probably more actually maybe 160 200 ish either way still a massive deal and if you wanted to get into how you could buy two three of these boxes and still be pretty good however with the necron one you don't want three voidmen or three of the same character uh same with the sisters you don't want three churchmen priest guys although with the sisters it's probably better because you've got lots of you know lots of things you want multiple of you sort of swarmy guys these guys these you can have multiple of all of these units but the Priest Guy, not the best. If you're lucky, if these do come out at amazing deals, you might be able to snipe on eBay a couple of the characters quickly that people are selling off because they've got multiple of. Um, Dark Angels as well. If it didn't have the Lion and it just had some generic character, generic Terminator Captain or whatever, it'd probably be better. But, you know, it's got the Lion. But it also comes with the Chaplain, a couple of these really new cool Blade Guys they released recently, and tons of Deathwing terminator whatever's the night box there's another one you get multiple of two pairs of the mini knights which are cute and one main knight very nice age of sigma also got some boxes but i don't care about age of sigma that much so we'll blast through night weird people they got a box horses gun shields pretty cool that guy's cool uh the amazing death knight wing death grave blight lord thingies They've got a cool box. It's got the really nice, uh, whatever he's called, Judge Dude with the intestine wig. I like him. 
bat stuff cool, bat stuff cool, zombie stuff cool. Yellow Orcs, they've got a couple characters, swinging wrecking ball and knife guys, regular infantry, and the really cool hog thing that came out. And then the shudder blight cyst, who knows, big chunky dudes, little dudes, horseman and full fly things. I don't care, they're all pretty cool looking, except this one because I think these guys look lame. Uh, I don't care about that, we can get on that later. Uh, let's go to this one first, save the kill team for later as well. Legion's Imperialis is getting some cool Dark Mechanicum guys. These little evil Adeptus Mechanicus spidery chaps. Evil Adeptus Mechanicus, not regular Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, they look awesome. This is Legion's Imperialis, which is the small one. So these guys must be pretty big if someone's doing sort of freehanding on the side of it. So that's cool. Uh, and just overall, these spider chaps look pretty sick. I, t I mean, not much more to say there. They look sick. Now on to kill team. Uh, it's a shame that I just bought the most recent kill team box to come out, kill team hive storm, because it's put a dent in my wallet. And the newest kill team looks really fucking cool. Uh, does it have a name? Why are they still on focus with orca uh, rattlings? The latest kill team expansion. I can't be bothered to read. Uh, Funky Smashy Orcs versus Ratlings. It's nice that the Ratlings are getting some models because they haven't had any models in years and they all look shit, the old ones. So it's nice that they're getting some more. Uh, if you remember earlier, we looked at the sniper guy that's coming out. Very nice commemorative model. But here they are again. Nice that the Ratlings are finally getting some models. A lot of random units that you wouldn't expect to get models are getting models recently, such as the Tempestus Scions just got their fly guys. The Tau, Tau have gotten Croup Box and the Vespid Stingwings. So lots of, you know, really out there units you wouldn't expect to be getting any models. They're getting models, which is nice. Fuck Eldari though, they don't get anything. Um, first let's look at the Orcs. Uh, these Orcs look pretty sick. There is already an Orc kill team, which is the... the give me a second, um, Orc Commandos, that's it. There's already the Orc Commandos, but these Orcs are significantly different enough to the point they're cool. Start off with, you've got the, the boss knob, he's got a big imperial fist <laughs> hammer behind him. Hammer? Oh my god, my brain is just useless today. Big imperial fist, fist behind him. Uh, a gun with a rocket on, which looks sick. A helmet, I love helmets. Helmets are so cool. You can do so much creative stuff, they're awesome, I love helmets. And a pretty gnarly looking hammer. How do I go over it? They've changed the interface. Oh, it's down here. Uh, this guy, who is my favourite, is the Breaker Boy Crusher. Lots of big boy words. He's got these sort of hydraulic press puncher hands with spikes and this massive Cyclops helmet. He looks awesome. He's my favourite from the Orc team. There's also everyone's favourite funny boy, Rocket Hammer. Because, of course, the Orcs are stupid enough to strap a rocket on a stick and use it as a hammer. That makes sense. You've also got a tank buster with just a massive rocket gun. Breaker boy fighter. They're just throwing words in here. Uh, guy with hammer. I like his helmet. He's got a sort of Roman thing going on. With the three hole helmet and this sort of plated drape, whatever. Very cool. And then you got another tank buster, because of course. And a couple squigs with bombs, because everyone loves bomb squigs. I'm actually currently painting up the bomb squig for October, so stay tuned for that video. On to the more anticipated team, I'd say, the Ratlings, as there's already a orc kill team. Uh, there's a Fixer, He's not, I'm guessing he's the General Trap? He's called a Fixer, not General, but anyway, he's got a little beret, he's got a massive backpack, he's got a nice cup of tea, gotta have a cup of tea if you're on the battlefield. Their feet make me uncomfortable. <laughs> but, never mind. Big shot, got you that sniper chap. First sniper to actually sort of be sitting down with the thing out, all the legs. Very cool. Then you've got your average infantry, you know, knife and gun. Standing generic pose. This one's got a little magnifying glass. This guy. Got the grenade guys. 
the Grenadiers and the Bombers, they're always my favourite in the Imperial kill teams. They're always the coolest looking as well. But I like that he's got these little trip wires. Maybe, I don't know the game still, but do these play a role in anything? Possibly. Then got generic grappling, grappling, rattling, with ammo box, with grappling hook, with cool fishing hat and sniper, your radio guy with a sniper, and a cute little pug. Here's what I'm guessing is the terrain for this kill team, which is spiky walls. Nice, and ammo containers, woo. Yeah, this is a, a pretty cool kill team. If I manage to get out of a stake of brokenness, a stake? I cannot talk today. If I manage to get out of a state of brokenness, I'll try and put some money together to buy it. Uh, but, unlikely. Oh, speaking of, you know how I keep complaining about my kill team, Hivestorm, not being here? It's set for delivery. It's coming this week. So, look forward to that. What did I skip? Where's all the stuff I skipped? Oh, yes, this. Uh, I don't care about Age of Sigmar. That guy looks cool with his crossbow and his mask. The gyro wheel thing's cool. His gun's cool. I like the claw man looking up. He's sick. This guy's cool with his fire thing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Don't, don't care. Cool. Uh, well, anyway, as for videos to expect from me this week, as I said, I'm painting up a squig for October. My Kill Team Hive Storm's coming soon, so expect an unboxing and a painting video on some of that, maybe. And then, yeah, I've got quite a few Orc models that I want to get through, so expect that. And, yeah, that's all you can expect for this week. See you later. Goodbye.